While paralysis might be the first thing you think of when you hear the word spinal cord injury, other areas of a victim's life can also be severely affected outside of walking. At the Hilton Hotel in downtown Minneapolis today, hundreds of people were came together to talk about ways to help patients recover from their injuries. Fox 9's Bab Santos stopped by and has more on the work they're doing tonight. It's been nearly six years since Jason Stouffer's life was changed forever in this rollover crash. In the days after, Stouffer's family was at his side as he began a new stage in life, now partially paralyzed. And while in the aftermath, his primary concern was to regain his ability to walk, years later, as he reflects, he understands now how many other things a spinal cord injury can take away. You have the loss of bowel function, you have the loss of bladder function, sexual function, you have excruciating neuropathic pain. On Saturday, Jason took part in the Unite to Fight Paralysis Science and Advocacy Symposium, an event with a room of 250 people from around North America working to help him and others recover some of their losses. <laughs> Organizer Matthew Roderick invited scientists, clinicians, and donors to collaborate directly with the people who understand these injuries the most and have the most to gain or lose from treatment. This is one of the very few that is curated, hosted, moderated by the spinal cord injury community. And with so many stakeholders under the same roof to bring their opinions and their concerns to the table, Many here believe the symposium is expediting this work to make spinal cord rehab more impactful in the future. This is a very different meeting where our focus is the people who are closest to the problem get to be at the table to craft solutions. Roderick says currently solutions include spinal cord stimulation, the use of electricity to reawaken connectivity of an injured spinal cord, along with regenerative therapies. There's been a lot of progress. Uh, but there's a lot to do. The symposium started on Thursday and ends today. That organizer told us he's excited because he feels the research community is entering a period where it will see the speed of innovations really 